this bottle until what is up everybody res back here again and today we're just gonna jump right into it uh, a new part for the Evo and that is a front power brace yes after I did the nose chop I had to get one of these don't mind the fact that I just chucked the box out of the car but here it is I'll leave the link down in the description of where you can get this but show my address and stuff on there but I'll leave the link on where we can where you guys can get this online and whatnot but for right now we're just gonna hop right into it and just go ahead and open this up Let's see if I got a key or a knife or something I'll just use the key Bam, just like that we got it opened, I think. <laughs> now I just gotta fight the bubble wrap, but it's pretty straightforward. I'll go ahead and unwrap the bubble wrap and then I'll show you what it looks like actually. Bam, there's what it looks like right there. So it's pretty awesome. We're gonna go ahead and install it right quick. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is just pop the front bumper off. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna show you exactly what you gotta do right after, all right? So as you just saw, the bumper just came off. Uh, pretty simple. I still have the intercooler sprayer. I don't even know if it works, but uh, that's why I can't really move the bumper out of the way. But what I can do is like kind of like swing it out of the way so that it's not in the middle of the street here, which is my temporary working area for my car. So, yep. So the first thing that we got to do, judging off what I've seen, is right in there there should be some bolts that you got to take out one on each side because we got to get rid of this in order to utilize the new brace because it kind of is like a replacement for that uh, but we do need to keep the hardware so what you do need is a 10 mil i believe and we're just going to get right to it take that junk off and replace it with the new one all right here we just go. attach those uh sorry they're not 10 mils they're a 12 mil actually and there's two on each side so now let's see if we can go ahead and just take this junk off right quick. I'll set you guys down. And wow. Ugh. That is uh, decently heavy right there compared to the new one. Uh, and it also is booty ugly. So <laughs> now what we need to do here is need to replace. I believe I need to take these two out here on each side because it won't use that little bracket thing anymore it's gonna you actually use a different one so uh, let's go ahead and jump right, right so that. everything's removed here we have to take off these little brackets here which I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the horn honestly probably just like put it over here closer to the front or maybe on the back so it doesn't stick out as much but we'll have to see what we're gonna do with that to be honest because uh, uh, I don't know where the fuck it's supposed to go to be honest but now we're gonna go ahead and attach this so I'm gonna go ahead and set you down and get this on there So, we made a mistake here. I'm probably gonna angle you guys a little bit higher, but we did make a mistake uh, by tightening down one side before tightening down the other. Uh, now we need to loosen it back up here because it's not lining up on the other side. So, I'll go ahead and loosen this up a little bit. Loosen this one up a little bit. Just here. Nope. 
gotta loosen up the top one. And just like that, make sure that you actually are going ahead and not tightening it down all the way until you line it up first, all right? So that way you don't have to deal with making the same mistake that I did. It isn't a showstopper, but it does add extra time to the install. There's the question of what to do with the horn. A little bracket here. Um, honestly, I just want to kind of put it here, but I don't know if it's going to stick out too much. So what I might have to do is just adjust this by bending this piece here, which is what I'm going to try to do. Um, but I don't honestly know if it's going to work or not. So first we're going to go ahead and put this thing on. I cannot have a horn. If you guys know me, you know that I like to use my horn a lot. So what we did was we installed it and then we just bent it back a little bit so it kind of goes flush with the bumper. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for this install right here. Pretty simple, I'd say, overall. Uh, very happy with how it turned out here. I do have these clips here, but I don't think I can reuse them. I don't know what they went to, but... I think it was just like a better airflow, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the bumper back on. And once the bumper is on, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show you a little cinematic. But here's what it kind of looks like now. I say it came out pretty good. I love how the red matches like the, the same red as the car, which is kind of the theme I'm going for, is like black and reddish. That's why I got the ETS intercooler. I want to change the stencil there to red but i did get the car with that already on there so um yeah it's pretty awesome there while we have the car off we're going to go ahead and just make sure all our clamps are tightened and go from there right We got it on there and pretty happy, pretty happy. It was an easy install. Um, so if you guys want to do it, I definitely recommend it. Probably difficulty level like two out of like 10, as long as you own like a basic set of like a, a 10 mil and a 12 mil pretty much and like a ratchet, you can be able to do it. It's really easy. So I definitely recommend it. Definitely looks good. Uh, popping through there where the nose used to be, but that's pretty much for this video i'm gonna go ahead and do a little cinematic but you already know what to do uh, remember to comment like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next week res out always remember to comment like and subscribe res out Sip out this bottle, just drown in my sorrows. Drown in my sorrows, be better tomorrow.